So what we're going to look at in this video real quick is going through the second octave of the B flat major scale. So the first octave going not too worried about that. Um, but here we are, we've ended ourselves on the fourth finger B flat on your G string. So as we migrate further up the neck, we're going to go to a first finger C. This puts us in third position where we'll also have a fourth finger D, which if you have any doubts about, you can check with your open D string. Assuming you've tuned beforehand, of course. But then we're gonna go up a half step, so we're gonna have this small, small little space of shift here up to an E flat. Unfortunately, there's not a great way to check that one. But then we've got a fourth finger spaced out nicely, F natural. And then our third to last note here is a G. And this G, what is nice here, is that it is a harmonic. So if you have not played these before, what I'm doing is I'm using the side of my thumb. And I use right here where the joint is. Um, and you're going to touch it to the string. You're not going to press it down, but you're just going to touch. So that way you're kind of blocking it off dead center between the bridge and the nut. And we're blocking this off and we get this nice resonance there. And that resonance should be at a G. So <coughs> once we've played that G, we're going to play first finger A. What you're noticing is that our thumb is still here on top of the fingerboard. So the problem we run into is we can't clamp around like this because we end up putting a lot of pressure on your arm here, a lot of tension. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna keep your fingers curled and you are going to let your elbow come up a little bit more. So you're letting your arm weight be what presses down onto the fingerboard for you. Pressing down with your thumb and your index finger only gets tiring after a while. We want to do as minimal active pushing as we can. So we have that first finger A. If you need to check it again, use that open A string to give you a little more peace of mind there. And then we finish off with our last note, which is a B flat. So from A to B flat is a half step, so we're going to have these fingers pretty close together. Um, they're not going to be right on top of each other, but they're going to be pretty close. So that takes us to a high B flat, which was pretty close. So, one more time as we start back here. Fourth finger B flat in half position. To a first finger C, third position. Fourth finger D. Which we can check with our open D string. Then we go to a first finger E flat, which is really a uh, third and a half position or something funky like that. Fourth and a half. It's weird. But we'll have E flat to fourth finger F natural. Up to this thumb on the harmonic. To a first finger A. Which we can check against that. flat right on top, so these fingers are going to be close. <coughs> and then as we come back down, B flat, to A, to G, to F natural, to E flat, to D, to C natural, to B flat. So one time running all the way through that, as we would in a audition scenario, we'll have I got a little funky there, but you guys get the idea. Um, a strong sound, especially when you get up high, will help keep your bass from squeaking. Yeah, hope this helps.